Supersonic fighters have always been the talk of the town between military enthusiasts due to their sheer power and thunderbolt speed. These aircrafts are a thrilling spectacle in action when they knock down their enemies thriving on their velocity. The whole world knows the tensions between US and Russia have heated up after World War II, and both sides have been producing combat aircrafts to prove their air power superiority over the other. While the Russian engineers have excelled in achieving high-speed performance in aircrafts, the American manufacturers are pioneering the game in stealth technology. This stance has put the world in debate. The US has launched the new supersonic jet that is going to show the world what speed and stealth means. Join us as we are going to reveal the fastest fighter jet of 2024 that is going to break the laws of physics. Well, Russia might not have the fastest aircraft, but their MIG-31, which is also known as the Foxhound, is a real speedster. This supersonic interceptor is fast and precise and can zoom at a staggering top speed of up to 3,000 kilometers per hour. That's like a speed demon in the sky, which is great for patrolling big areas and catching speedy and high-flying threats. Its main job is to track and take down targets like enemy planes and missiles in just a glace. The MIG-31 has powerful radar systems that can handle multiple targets at once. They can even operate in the stratosphere, which gives it an advantage in certain situations. Now, when it comes to sheer speed, the American YF-12 is the champion. This super-fast plane, built by Lockheed in the 1960s, was made to chase Russian bombers and high-speed threats. It could reach speeds of up to Mach 3.35, which is up to 3,660 kilometers per hour, which means it can cover roughly a mile per second. Along with its incredible speed, it has state-of-the-art radar and fire control systems which make it a tough competitor in the skies. It has even helped develop tech for legendary planes like the SR-71 Blackbird. When it comes to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, it is just a tad slower than the YF-12 but still incredibly fast and can cruise at Mach 3.2. It set records and gained a reputation as one of the fastest planes ever. But what really piques our interest is the SR-91 Aurora. This plane is a mystery that's fascinated aviation fans and conspiracy theorists alike. The story began in 1990 when words got out about a secret project called Aurora. There were rumors that this project is getting massive funding. Then, in the early 90s, there were sightings and reports about a high-speed, triangle-shaped aircraft with a unique contrail. Even the British government got involved when an engineer claimed to have seen this mysterious plane refueling from a Boeing Stratotanker in the North Sea. What made the story even more interesting was that the US government said it didn't exist, and all the claims were false, and it was just a tip of the iceberg that looked like a plane. Then in 1991, it was reported from Southern California that a series of strange sonic booms was heard, and researchers got puzzled about it. These booms were linked to an aircraft flying at an incredible altitude of 90,000 feet and speeds from Mach 4 to Mach 5, faster than usual planes. Later, by 1992, vapor trails with a distinctive pulse wave detonation engine profile started appearing in the sky, followed by the strange pulsating roars. During one event, radio transmissions were intercepted between an AWACS aircraft and two unknown aircraft named Dark Star November and Dark Star Mike, flying above 67,000 feet at unimaginable speeds. Then a man named Chuck Clark claimed to have video footage of the mysterious aircraft, which he called the Aurora. He described it as a 130-foot-long, sharply triangular craft. However, the evidence and reports vanished by 1996 mysteriously and left people uncertain. By the 1980s, Many started believing that the U.S. had the technology to build a successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, which turned out to be true. The U.S. Air Force, NASA, and Lockheed revealed a successor B-2 in a less secretive manner. In his book from 1994, Skunk Works, Ben Rich revealed that Aurora was the codename for the project that led to the development of the B-2 Spirit Bomber. While the hypersonic SR-91 isn't connected to hypersonic technology, the United States is actively working on hypersonic aircraft due to concerns about maintaining its dominance, particularly in comparison to China. One of these projects is Project Mayhem by the Air Force Research Laboratory. It aims to create a combined cycle turbofan scramjet propulsion system for larger payloads and longer distances. In the early stages of flight, turbofan engines propel the aircraft to speeds exceeding Mach 2, then switch to scramjet engines for hypersonic speeds, potentially reaching Mach 10. Project Mayhem also aims to land conventionally to bridge the gap between traditional aircraft and hypersonic vehicles. However, hypersonic propulsion also comes with some challenges. 
Scramjets struggle with ignition at lower speeds, and they require the assistance of other propulsion systems. To get rid of these, the ongoing research shows promising advances in scramjet engine technology. On the other hand, Atlanta-based aviation firm Hermaeus is developing the Dark Horse, an unscrewed and remotely piloted hypersonic aircraft. It employs a ramjet engine called Chimera with a combined cycle of $18 million. Ramjets slow down supersonic air before igniting it, which simplifies engineering and lowers costs, but it's expected to reach hypersonic speeds below Mach 6. To address these limitations that lower down the speed, Hermaeus employs a turbine-based combined cycle engine that smoothly transitions between low-speed and high-speed operation like takeoff, cruise, and landing. The Pratt & Whitney F100 engine is chosen for the turbofan component of the Chimera engine, which successfully transitioned from turbofan to ramjet power in a 2022 wind tunnel test. They plan to test it on the Dark Horse in 2025. Hermaeus will also develop a 20-passenger hypersonic aircraft named Halcyon in the future. To validate the Chimera engine, they are using the Quarter Horse that is a smaller testbed aircraft powered by a General Electric J85 engine in combination with a ramjet to achieve speeds exceeding Mach 4. The Dark Horse will have a dual role as a payload carrying hypersonic testbed and an operational unmanned aerial system to serve the defense and intelligence clients. It will feature a scaled-up Chimera 2 propulsion system with Pratt and Amp Whitney F100 engine set to deliver 29,160 pounds of thrust and an in-house developed ramjet for achieving hypersonic cruise speeds. The SR-71 Blackbird was made of titanium and was powered by Pratt and Whitney J58 engines. It achieved a top speed of Mach 3.2 and altitudes of up to 85,000 feet. However, the SR-91 Aurora that is rumored to double the speed of the SR-71 is nothing less than a mystery. The alleged sightings and sonic booms fueled speculation, but no concrete evidence links them to the SR-91. It was also leaked that Aurora referred to a group of exotic aircraft, not one specific one. However, an ex-Lockheed employee confirmed that Aurora was the codename for the B-2 stealth bomber program, not the SR-91. Then comes Lockheed Martin's SR-72 that is referred as the successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird. This aircraft is designed to take things to the next level, packing some serious firepower, including guns, missiles, and even laser-directed energy weapons. Its primary roles are reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering, equipped with cutting-edge sensors and cameras that can capture images over a vast area. The U.S. recognized the need for a new spy plane as other countries developed anti-satellite weapons, area denial tech, and fast interceptors. The SR-72 aims to fill that role with incredible speed, projected at Mach 6, twice as fast as the SR-71. And it can fly at an altitude of 80,000 feet, about three times higher than Mount Everest. This means it can circle the globe in just one hour. What makes this speed possible is its combined cycle turbofan scramjet engine, a technology Lockheed Martin has been working on for three decades. This top secret project has been in development since 2007, and NASA has invested around a billion dollars to push its capabilities even further. Flying at such speeds is a challenge because the aircraft has to withstand intense aerodynamic heating that can melt regular materials. So it's being built with special alloys of metal and ceramic composites, similar to what's used in space shuttles. What's fascinating is the use of 3D printing technology in constructing the aircraft, making intricate components possible. Hypersonic aircraft, combined with hypersonic missiles, have the potential to break through heavily defended airspace and reach targets across a continent in under an hour. According to Bradley L., Lockheed Martin's program manager, speed is becoming crucial to counter emerging threats. Well, creating hypersonic missiles and aircraft is not a small task. Engineers need to design rockets that can withstand extreme heat and air friction at hypersonic speeds. They also need to figure out how these missiles can change direction during flight when their turning radius may be hundreds of miles, which consumes a lot of fuel. These are substantial hurdles that require groundbreaking technologies. The SR-72 project goes beyond just speed. It aims to address the limitations of its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, using modern technology. This includes eliminating outdated systems and reducing turnaround time. The SR-72 can be manned by pilots or operated remotely, making it more agile and capable of withstanding higher G-forces. Some people believe that other supersonic aircraft, like the rumored Aurora, could exist, while the U.S. government officially denies the existence of the Aurora. But experts like Bill Sweetman think it's possible. 
recent technological advancements have made it feasible to create such aircrafts, and the SR-72 program suggests it might have been used in other classified aircraft projects. To your surprise, there is even speculation about a mysterious $9 billion budget allocation in 2006, which has not been linked to any program yet, so it might be hiding the production of the Aurora spy plane. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.